You have a dash cam because you want to protect you and your family in case of accidents or fraud, and also to watch over your vehicle while it is parked out in the public. That's what you should do with a dash cam. Here are eight things you should not do with your dash cam. Fracking creations, showing you the good stuff. Number one, not know how to use it properly. Whether you get someone else to install your dash cam or you install it yourself, you need to know how to use it properly. Knowing how to configure it to suit your needs and also knowing what the lights and warning beeps and messages mean is important. It will ensure you don't get into a situation where you cannot access the footage you need in case of an incident. Don't forget to try to retrieve some footage from it before you actually need it. Having to figure it out or install the app for the first time during an accident is something you want to avoid. Number two, not test it regularly. Dash cams, like other electronics, are susceptible to heat damage. Usage and heat can also cause the supercapacitor or other components to fail. As a result, all dash cams will eventually fail and stop recording properly. Other times, a defect or bad install could cause a dash cam to work only sometimes or stop working completely. Cheap dash cams also fail much sooner than high quality ones like the ones I reviewed. In some cases, the image sensor has failed, as shown here in footage from my older high end dash cam. The dash cam was still able to record properly without giving any warnings, but the video is corrupt because of the failed sensor. Lesson learned It is important that on a regular basis, you are checking that the dash cam is booting up and recording properly, the video files are good, and that there are no warning lights or messages indicating a malfunction. Number three, Install on loose vehicle trim. You want your dash cam to be installed on a firm and stable part of the vehicle. When this is not the case, you can get footage that is jittery or shaky and negatively affects the sharpness of the video overall, as can be seen here. In this case, the dash cam was installed on the vehicle trim like so. The trim is not held firm enough to provide good support for a dash cam. Ideally, the windshield is one of the best spots. So go and check your video footage now if you haven't already. Note that if your dash cam has a small LCD screen, do not use it to determine the steadiness of your footage. The screen is too small to tell. It may even be hard to tell on your smartphone, so you may need to download the footage onto your laptop or computer to view it on a larger screen. Number four, not add sun protection. Dash cams run hot, and even though some have high operating temperature ranges, keeping temps lower can help extend the life and reliability of the dash cam. In some models, the dash cam will turn itself off if the temp exceeds the max temp rating. This means no recordings. This is where sun protection comes in. You might want to consider installing some vinyl wrap that is cut to size to help block the sunlight from hitting the dash cam directly. With temperatures rising around the world, it's not unrealistic for temperatures to get very high inside the vehicle and under the windshield. You only need to feel how hot your dashboard can get to have an idea. When installing it, make sure not to block the dash cam's view or to block your vision of the road or traffic. Safety first. Number five, ignore warning lights and messages. Sometimes a single failure happens only once then goes away. This could be a sign that something is about to fail. You would be wise to check up on the dash cam and the memory card. Review old footage to see if it has been happening more than expected currently or in the past. Other times the warning message is indicating that the dash cam or memory card has actually failed and will need to be replaced. This one time, one of my old dash cams would regularly reboot itself at random times while I was driving. It was not consistent, and after booting up, it seemed to be working fine as there were no more warning messages. A thorough inspection revealed that the rear camera had issues and was no longer recording properly. This resulted in the rear camera files being corrupt while also causing the random reboots. Number six, use bad or cheap memory cards Memory cards used by dash cams are also susceptible to usage and heat damage. Memory cards can only be written to a certain number of times before they stop working. High heat is also a contributor to shorter lifespan of memory cards. Both conditions are typical of dash cam environments. Dash cams run hot from the amount of processing they do and from the heat of the sun. Plus, they continually write, erase, and write data to the memory card. If you buy cheap, low quality memory cards, then expect them to fail sooner than high quality ones. If you have a low quality memory card or one that is starting to fail, consider getting a better one before it fails. I have provided some links to good memory cards in our video description. If you are looking for one, check those out. Maintenance of your memory card is also essential to having a properly functioning dash cam. Formatting the card every so often is a good idea and so is regularly using software like Hard Disk Sentinel to test and repair your memory card. As a memory card ages, it also starts to slow down as shown by the darker colored cells when running a surface test on it. 
This can help you determine if you should replace the car before it actually fails. Number seven, not check the vehicle battery. I have always recommended that dash cams be installed with a hard wiring kit. This allows you to take advantage of parking mode recordings. If you have a dash cam to protect you while you're driving, not having it record while parked is a waste. If your dash cam is hardwired, you should also check to make sure your vehicle's battery is in good condition. A battery in good condition can provide longer parking mode recording operation. Because batteries typically last up to five years, make sure to test yours if you're getting close to that. Note that there are auto retailers out there that can test your battery for free. You just need to find them. Number eight, not have a spare memory card. It's a good idea to have a spare memory card for your dash cam. When you have two cards, you can swap them from time to time, allowing for each one to last longer. Plus, in a situation where you want to remove the card to download footage faster on a computer or laptop, the spare can be used to allow the dash cam to continue to run. This is also useful when one of the cards fails. You won't have to drive your vehicle without dash cam protection while you go out to buy a new one or wait for one to be delivered. There you go. A quick rundown of eight things you should never do with your dash cam. Give us a like and share the video if you found it useful and subscribe to get more from us.